And the Dean of the University of Cape Coast Business School, Professor John Gachi, says the Securities and Exchange Commission must answer for the circumstances leading to the revocation of licenses of some fund managers. And he was reacting to the decision to revoke the licenses of some 53 fund managers. According to the Securities and Exchange Commission, this action was seeking in accordance with its mandate of protecting investors and the integrity of the capital market. Deputy Director General of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Paul Abebio, admits the regulator cannot be shielded of blame. Uh, the need for a regulator to always be, to be, always be um, vigilant and to have the right tools to exercise their supervisory duty um, is, is brought to the fore. Uh, we are actually were aware of this problem uh, when we came into office. We, 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 we started conducting hearings to really appreciate what are the dynamics, what are the kinds of communication that were given to investors. Also appreciate the, the, the status of the industry and how actions that we might take would affect others. In the course of the process, we actually suspended some firms. Uh, we gave them time to, to fix their issues. Um, for some of the firms, we didn't see much progress. Um, some firms have been able to resolve their issues, actually. Paul Abibio indicated that the Commission will begin a claims validation process for investors or fund managers whose licenses were revoked. Governments will also um, step in. Um, will provide some reliefs. It wouldn't be to make people whole. Um, we're looking at some capped level. Um, we will announce it. Dean of the University of Cape Coast Business School, Professor John Gachi believes the regulator's action, had it been managed, could have helped investors with locked up funds. Not long ago, the International Commission uh, published to the entire world the asset management companies which are not in good standing uh, indicating that these 53 are in good standing. By so doing, you have encouraged Ghanaians to go and invest there. Mm. Only, only to be told that those institutions, you have revoked their alliances. That would deepen uh, the commitment of these people and other people who are observers to uh, participate in the capital market and for that matter, the financial sector. I believe that these are the things that we should watch and not to continue to say that we are cleaning something and the neatness is not stolen. In an effort to cushion the impact of the exercise on the over 56,000 customers, Securities and Exchange Commission confirmed that government has set aside some funds to be paid to all the affected investors.